Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and implement spinners, that is loaders for our application, so that it's easier for us to, you know, halt on certain tasks like these when, you're, when your user is logging in, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a busy state variable real quick. Set busy, right? And I'm gonna set this to use state of boolean type and initially we are not really busy right so what i really want is whenever i log in i should become busy and when i'm about to leave i should not be busy right so once we have that in place what we really want is whenever i'm busy what should happen is that i should get an ion loading component with me so what this ion loading component does is basically this would allow you to have a loader displayed. So I'm going to pass in a message saying, uh, please wait, maybe something like this, a duration of zero. A duration of zero just specifies that, well, yeah, you're not really, um, you know, you're not really in a mood to actually close this dialog box anytime soon. That is, you're not giving a default closing duration and you have another property is open. Now this should be set to busy and I actually got this a little twisted. This must be fine, right? So whenever we are busy, there should be an eye on loading message, right? So now if I go ahead and hit login, you're gonna see we get please wait and then something like this. So this is basically, this just allows your user not to really mess around other things while you're working with uh, the main thing, right? For example, now we can just go ahead and implement the same ion loading in registration as well so here we are right and we're gonna make sure that we bring in the busy part as well so that here we go and we're gonna set set busy to true right here and I'm gonna set busy to false right here or you can just customize your uh, message as well if you want so we can say registration Registration in progress, and don't mind the spellings, right? So we're gonna have some sort of registration. One, two, three, four, five, six, and register. You see a registration in progress, and once it's done, you get the message you have successfully registered, right? So yeah, that's how you're gonna implement a basic um, loader in Ionic. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.